This is problem number five for assessment number seven. In this problem it says, for the given function f of x and the numbers l, c, and epsilon greater than zero, find an open interval about c on which the inequality absolute value of f of x minus l less than epsilon holds. Then give a value for delta greater than zero such that for all x satisfying zero less than absolute value of x minus c less than delta, the inequality absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon holds. They give you the function, which is a radical function. They give you uh, l equals 3, c equals 14, and epsilon equals 0.1. So, to start this problem, uh, we want to kind of identify what they, what they want us to find, which they want us to find an open interval about c. So that's the first part, is find an open interval about c. And then they want us to find a delta such that uh, all the x satisfying this absolute value uh, make it so that the y values are less than the tolerance. So long story short, we want the y values to be less than a certain tolerance. And we want the x values to produce the y values that are within that tolerance. But we have to start with the y values first. Let's kind of draw this out. Uh, and I want you to kind of ignore this part here. Let's draw this out here. We've got a radical function, 23 minus x. So we can draw this, and it doesn't matter how you draw it per se. This is just kind of a, uh, a way to give you a visual for what's actually going on in the problem. Uh, it doesn't have to actually pertain to the problem, just so that you understand what we're trying to accomplish. First of all, they tell us that we have the C value, and they want us to find an open interval about C. And C is an X value, which you can tell from here. So we're going to mark C on here, and that's 14. And they want us to find an open interval about C, so that means around C. And when you get these x values, you plug them into the function, what do you get out? Well, you get out y values. So you're going to get out some y values. That's what these lines are representing as I plug in an x value, I get out a y value. Well, this y value, I know when I plug in C, so when I plug in C, I get this limit, which they tell us the limit is 3. When I plug in these x values I'm trying to find right now, I don't know what they are, I'm going to get out two values for y, and they want those values for y to stay within a tolerance. That's what this absolute value of f of x minus l stands for. Remember, f of x stands for the y values. So the y value minus the limit needs to be less than epsilon. So epsilon's a tolerance. They tell us that epsilon's 0.1. So we want to be within 0.1 of this value of 3. So that means we can be up to 3.1 or down to 2.9. But as long as we're be essentially between 2.9 and 3.1 for our y values, we're good. Well, we need to find the x values that are going to produce y values between 2.9 and 3.1. So how do we do that? Well, we start with the output, the y values, and we work our way backwards. And that's what this is telling us here in the bottom part. It says uh, we want to find a delta such that for all x satisfying this condition, condition, the inequality for the y values being subtracted needs to be less than epsilon. So they're essentially telling us find, remember delta goes right here. We want to find a delta in part b, which is a tolerance here that will produce, a, that will produce numbers within our tolerance for epsilon. So let's start with the absolute value of f of x minus l, which is the y values, the output, and work our way backwards to the input. So we say absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. And then we plug in the stuff we know, which we have the absolute value of root 23 minus x minus 3 is less than 0.1. Because this is an absolute value inequality, I like to start out by doing the absolute value of 
equation, then use a number line to figure out where the solutions are. Are they between the two roots we, we, found, we find or are they outside those two roots? So I'm going to write this as an equation. Just remember it's an inequality, so we'll have to do the number line at the end. 23 minus x minus 3 equals 0.1. So we're going to say that root 23 minus x minus 3 equals 0.1. Or root 23 minus x minus 3 equals negative 0.1. I add the 3 over and I get root 23 minus x equals 3.1 or root 23 minus x equals, when I add this over, two point nine. Now remember I said that these had to be between 2.9, right, if you subtract 0.1 and 3.1. So they're saying the function values, right, this is the, the function, the function is going to produce a y value, they have to be uh, essentially between the 3, 1 and the 2, 9 as well. So we're working backwards, we're going to end up finding x, and x is going to give us this interval here, which will produce the numbers 2, 9 to 3, 1. So that was the goal. So we're going to square this side, square the 3.1, and when we square 3.1 we get 9.61. So we get 23 minus x equals 9.61. Subtract the 23. We get negative x equals, this will give you negative 13.39. So x equals 13.39. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. We square both sides. And we get 23 minus x equals 2.9 squared is 8.41 subtract the 23 and we get negative x equals it'll be negative 14.59 divide by a negative we get x equals 14.59 so our x values are 13.39 here and this is 14.59 here now I don't know if the solutions fall between them. I need to check that with my inequality. So remember I said draw a number line. Well we have one written here. A number in between them to check to see are these solutions in between here? Do they actually work? Which visually you can see they're going to, but let's double check it. So 14, plug in here, 23 minus 14, 9. Root of 9 is going to be 3, and 3 minus 3, 0. 0 is less than 0.1. So yes, the solutions run from here to here. So that means that for part A, my open interval that works, so my open interval that produces uh, values of 2.9 to 3.1 is 13.39 comma 14.59. And I put a parenthesis on each side because this is a less than, not a less than or equal to. For part B, they want us to find a delta. Well, remember, delta is the tolerance for the x values. So epsilon is the tolerance for the y values. Delta is the tolerance for the x values. Well, what's the difference between the endpoints and c? Let's find that. Absolute value of 13.39 minus, oop, I shouldn't put that there, minus 14 is, well, that's going to be 0.61. And absolute value of 14.59 minus 14 is equal to 0.59. So this side has 0.61, this side has 0.59, but if we have to pick one of the two, we want to pick the smaller one. Because if we use 0.61 as our tolerance, and then we put it on this side, that will take us just outside uh, this x value of 14.59, it'll be at 14.61, which will produce an ep or a, a y value which is outside of epsilon, right? It'll actually be outside of 3.1. So we want to always go with the smaller uh, delta value that we get because we know that it's going to work for both. So let's go with delta equals 0.59. And these are your solutions for this problem.